Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne Lively. Thank you for joining me. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a homeschool book haul. There are a couple of books at the end that I will share with you that are for me personally, but for the most part, these are all homeschool books that I've picked up from Book Outlet as well as Amazon. The first book I'm going to share with you is a middle grade book called The Magic in Changing Your Stars, and this is by Leah Henderson. I picked this up to go with our Harlem Renaissance study that we're doing for Black History Month. This year I'm really trying to make our homeschool a bit more magical and my daughter really enjoys fantasy books which she keeps confirming and telling me. So for the rest of this year for every six week cycle of the school year I'm trying to find a magical middle grade book that we can read together that fits with one of the themes for that six week cycle. And in this one it's the Harlem Renaissance and this is about a little boy who ends up wanting to be a star and he goes for an audition and he kind of bombs and he talks to his grandfather who tells him he always wanted to be a tap dancer but he gave up on his dream and the little boy he puts on his grandfather's tap shoes and says he wishes he could go back to that period in history and magically he's there and it's back in the time of the Harlem Renaissance and I love, there's a little clip of the back and it refers to this book as being magical realism and historical fiction. I think that is perfect. But he goes back and he tries to encourage his grandfather to follow his dreams, but he's a bit concerned if he does that, what does that mean for the future and will he make it home? Sounds really adorable. And we read the first chapter and it reads really fast and certainly caught our attention. So I can't wait to read the rest of it. And I picked this up, and this is the Magic Treehouse Fact Tracker, Penguins and Antarctica. And this is for the penguin study that we're doing this current six-week cycle. That was what my daughter Vivian chose to do. And I'm trying to do at least one interest-led study each six-week cycle. And this time it was on penguins. This is one I picked up, and this is another middle grade. Actually, it looks kind of like a chapter book. It might be in between. <laughs> Anyway, this is Secret of the Andes. This is a, an older book. It's by Anne Nolan Clark. The reason I chose this particular book is because it's taking place in the Andes. And this is about a little boy who goes off on his own and he tries to find out about his history. And he's an Inca boy. So he spends a lot of time in the valley in Peru. And this fits in with a study that we are doing on South America. Now we took a break for that, but we we will be going back to that study in April, so I wanted to make sure I had this book. Now, a little chapter book that I picked up, I thought this is so adorable. This is called Book Uncle and Me, and I first heard about that from Angie at Science Mama. I'll link her channel below. Funny enough, I think I've, I've mentioned Angie two times in the videos in the last couple weeks. That's great, because she's fantastic. If you're a homeschooler, check out her channel. Now, this is, if you see this little sign here, it says, Books free, give one, take one, read, read, read. And this is by Uma Krishna Swami. And this is about a little girl her, who tries to save her uncle. She ends up petitioning because her book uncle had a free library and the government is making them shut it down. And she's, she's starting to fight and protest uh, so that her uncle can keep that free library. And the reason it appealed to me was because of the activism part. I wanted to do a few things with my daughter about activism. Um, I'm not sure when we're going to read that or when that study's coming up. To be quite honest, I have so much going on. I'm a bit nervous to do that with her when I do not have the time and the schedule to actually do some sort of campaign with her. So we'll see when we read this in the end. Now, I picked up this, uh, The Call of the Wild and Free, Reclaiming Wonder in Your Child's Education. And this is by Ainsley Arment. And I did do a video last week. I'm planning on reading one homeschool slash parenting book a month in the year 2022. That's why I picked up this particular book and you can check out that video if you're interested in finding out what other books I'm reading or becoming. Oh, and if you'd like to join me, that would be fantastic. Now this is about the wild and free a movement and it really is a movement and they have a website. You can check it out. And the, from what I'm understanding, the premise of this is the idea that childhood is being stolen from our kids and that it's up to us to try to save childhood. But uh, Ainsley Arment is a homeschooler and there's a huge homeschool community, wild and free. You can start your own groups in your own town. Anyway, I am really looking forward to this particular read. And I think what I'm going to do is I will do a reading vlog as I read this one. So if that interests you, definitely make sure you're subscribed. Yeah, 
And if you like that idea, hit like for sure. <laughs> All right, I picked up a few books for our Black History Month. And like I said, this year, what we're doing for Black History Month is we are studying the Harlem Renaissance. And I have done a video showcasing all the books we'll be using for Black History Month this year. And I'll link that above or one of the above. No, I think it's on this side. But in case you don't see that video, uh, there are more books in that video than I'm about to show you now. But this is what I've picked up for that study. This is just a little one I'm going to start off with before we do. I'll probably read that to Vivian the day before Black History Month. I just wanted to make sure that she was aware of the Black Lives Matter movement. And this is one of those Who HQ books. I've actually read the little portion in the book. Um, oh, what's it called? A Child's Introduction to Black History, which we read three quarters of last year for Black History. And it was, yeah, absolutely amazing. Uh, I would recommend that book for sure. Anyway, we'll read this and because I'm sure it will fill in some of the gaps. And yeah, that's how we'll start off. I did pick up another uh, Who HQ book, and this is going to be one of the spines for our Harlem Renaissance study. And this was Who Was the Harlem Renaissance? Okay, these books, oh, I'm so in love. I think I'm so excited that to get these. Now we have them. So we'll be studying these for sure. This one is Wisdom from the Harlem Renaissance, One Last Word. And this is by Nikki Grimes. And this is the poetry that she's done about the Harlem Renaissance. She used a, a form of poetry called, I have to look it up, I keep forgetting, Golden Shovel Poetic Form. Now she's created original works, but it's based on the original poems of master poets like Langston Hughes and other people from the Harlem Renaissance. And the artwork is amazing, amazing, you guys. So there's poems of different lengths. So that is going to be amazing. And we also have one that she's done in the same format. And this is called Legacy Women Poets of the Harlem Renaissance. And that, again, is by Nikki Grimes. And we're for sure starting this during Black History Month, but it will go into our morning basket after the month is finished as part of our women's studies. So I think what I'll do is I'll definitely be reading from this during Black History Month, but I'll focus on getting this one done because this one I'm going to carry forward into the next month anyway, if, if it's left. So the other book that I picked up is Harlem Stomp. And this is a cultural history of the Harlem Renaissance. And this is by Laban Carrick Hill. And this is another one that we will use as part of our spine. And I love the layout in this. It has all kinds of literary works from um, historical documents. It also has poetry, prose, political rhetoric, and it has, yeah, like I said, photographs, historical documents, full color paintings. And I love that it's using so many things to tell the story of this period. Yeah, amazing. And I was on Book Outlet the day I'm making this anyway, and all of these books were available on Book Outlet. So if you shop Book Outlet, uh, definitely check it out. Now this was a thrift buy. I did buy it from Amazon, and I kept seeing this floating around on Instagram, on other homeschooler sites, and I'm we're really into birds in this house, and I love the artwork. I realized the book that drew me to this on Instagram was based on this dust jacket and that is really in horrible condition, unfortunately. So I, but the book is immaculate and I'll just show you inside. It's the illustrations, of course, that always draw me to these. Anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, uh, you'll definitely see some of these because I plan on posting some of the beautiful artwork that's in some of my nature journals. I'm going to try to do that in a more regular basis because I love to look at them and I feel like that's a wonderful way to make the year more magical as well. And, you know, it's certainly whimsical. Speaking of a whimsical family life, adding this, these kind of, um, Adding these kind of books and illustrations into our life and really taking the time to appreciate them for sure adds whimsy to our life. Yes, to use that word. Okay, this one I just picked up. This is Dallaire's book of Greek myths. 
And I'm sure if you're in the homeschool space, you've heard of this. What's interesting is we did this a couple of years back. Yeah, probably two years ago, I had a copy from the public library and I also had the, the CDs. So we listened to it as part of our morning basket on the CD and then flip through the book. But the reason that I actually finally two years later picked up a copy is because when I asked my daughter what she wanted to study in terms of an, going back to the interest led, she said one of the things she very quickly said, I want to do Greek myths. She wanted to do more mythology. So we did that. If you saw our last update at the end of that video, I showcased everything in our morning basket for the six week cycle. It was hard to get out. And in that basket, there's a DK Greek mythology book. Well, we finished it already. And the illustrations were beautiful. And I found the stories very compact. They were easy to follow. And I realized I would like to do a bit more study on some of those Greeks. And initially I was going to jump right into Norse mythology because we have the same type of book from DK for Norse mythology. However, I decided since we both loved uh, Greek mythology and I have some books I really, in terms of fiction, I want to get into, I thought it would be great if we actively started to memorize some of the family names and like Hercules and where they come and, you know, the ancestral tree, all of those sort of things. I thought it's time for us to uh, really make that effort and for my daughter to have that understanding, to have that lineage and I mean, within reason, right? Within reason. <laughs> but the key players for sure, I want her to know their names who they are and where they are in the family tree. And so we will listen to that on audio and we will uh, have a look at the pictures while we listen to the audio as part of our morning basket. So that'll be, we're going to start that in the next six week cycle. And I'm going to develop some things that we can kind of fill out as we go along to help with our memory. And to continue on with the mythology, I picked this up for Christmas. It was for the home, really. And this was from Costco. And I'd love to know if anybody else picked this up from Costco this year. So this is the Myths and Legends series. This is a six-book set. General editor, Jake Jackson. This is Celtic myths, Chinese myths, Egyptian, Greek and Roman myths, Indian myths, and Norse myths. So I haven't really had a look at this. I mean... I can certainly read this with my daughter. She's eight. We would read a little bit every day, that sort of thing. I'm going to continue on the path we're on so far with myths, but I would love to know if you pick this up and if you've been reading it with your children, how old your children are and how you've been experiencing these books. So if anyone watching has, like I said, started these books, I'd love to know what your experience is. Please leave it in the comments below. I'd be very grateful. Now, the last couple things I'm going to share with you are really for me and my uh, spouse and I picked these up off book outlet but since I have them I'll show them to you and I actually picked them up because of I was watching another homeschooler I was watching the eclectic homeschool ch uh, channel and I will leave her channel uh, down below and I kept hearing about Dave Ramsey but she uh, mentioned how much that it had changed her home life this uh, the total money makeover book and you know we've had quite a few changes over the last couple of years so I think I would like us to be more mindful and to pay more attention to our finances for sure. So when I did a search for this book, these came up on Book Outlet. So I'm going to be honest, I could have bought one off Amazon, but for the exact same price, I got all three of these from Book Outlet. So I decided to go that route and I don't know if, how much we'll use. So this is Dave Ramsey, The Total Money Makeover, A Proven Plan for Financial Fitness. And this is the main book, the hard copy, which... I do have an audiobook subscription that it's on there as well. Or did I, or it was in the public library. I can't remember which. So I, I will probably listen to that on audio as well as go through this book. Oh, and to be honest, the other reason I wanted the book instead of just the audio, besides always having the desire to highlight, is the fact that um, he's hard to listen to. And I know my spouse would be open to reading this book. I think... I don't think I could get him to listen to Dave Ramsey reading this book. And so, since it was there on Book of Lit, it's, I grabbed this too. This is the Total Money Makeover Workbook. Now, I don't know if this is overkill or not, but 
I grabbed them. And this is the Total Money Makeover Journal. And you know what? Oh, here we go. Okay, so I think this is like, yes. Okay, so this is some sort of tracker. Yes, today's goals, what you've, I, I'm presuming is what you spent, but, and all the pages are the same. What? So I love these kind of journals, though. I find it easy if you have a book for each thing. Like this, if you're really trying to focus on it, I find it helpful. Okay, that's everything I'm going to share with you. I'd love to know if you picked up anything special lately. And if you saw anything here that you'd like to get for your home, please leave it in the comments below. It encourages me to keep making these videos. Oh, and if you like this video, be sure to hit like and subscribe if you want to see more like it. And I will see you with another video soon.